Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for August 15th, 2019. Well, the Trader's Almanac has told us over and over and over that July, or excuse me, August is a very challenging month for trading, and that has certainly proved to be true this month. Now, um, all of this uncertainty that continues to swirl around the market um, is causing lots and lots of trouble um, overall. And we're seeing massive price volatility this morning in the futures. Um, we just all of a sudden just now had the futures jump into the positive territory. And we have been down as far as 180 Dow points this morning. And then I don't know what just came out in the news, but we just leapt um, about 130 points. So I don't know. <laughs> um, we have really been all over the map today and it has been extremely volatile uh, morning. Now, um, yesterday I mentioned in the chart that the places that I was worried about was if we, if we broke down below these price lows, we could see some selling coming in to retest the lows here in the market and possibly even lower. Now, earlier um, this morning, we were looking at a substantial gap down um, in those report or with uh, retaliation from China coming into play. Um, we're still having those bond fluctuations affecting the market. We're having all kinds of uh, news coming out today that could affect the market. So I would suggest being a little bit careful today um, just with the wild fluctuations, we, as I, as I started this video, uh, we were down about 70 points. We suddenly jumped up to being positive over 130 points in Dow futures. And that has already come back down. We're fluctuating around 50 to 60 points right now, as I'm speaking, it's just whipping all over the place. So be kind of careful this morning. Let's take a look at the technicals of the chart. First thing we have to recognize is that we do have a downtrend now in play. And it's very, very similar if I go to a moving average chart, very, very similar to what occurred over here. We move down, rally up, move down. Now we haven't made quite uh, such a severe move to the downside yet below that 200 day moving average. But that is certainly still possible um, with such a bearish engulfing candle. Now, could we get some kind of a relief rally, a bounce back, a news report that changes everything? Yes, that is absolutely the case. Down here testing these lows, what's going to be important to see is if those bulls defend this area and start bringing us back up. But that doesn't negate the problems that we have here in the market and the fact that we are still within a downtrend. So any rally back up, we're going to have to watch pretty carefully for that potential of that next failure that takes us lower. Uh, very much like this right over here, where we drop around and bounced around in the market. So let's watch that very carefully um, as this progresses, if we begin to really catch that big swinging rally to, to come back up, we're going to want to watch this resistance level here in the chart. And I think we've really built another resistance level that we should be paying attention to right, right in through here. There's uh, a little bit of price resistance. So if we start bouncing back up, we could run into some price resistance in there. So let's keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY, I think has some additional problems. And that is the fact that markets really don't like to float out here in midair. Take a look at this over here. When we move down here in the SPY and we kind of floated here between the 50 and the 200 day moving average, that rally back to the 50 day eventually resolved itself down through that 200. And I mentioned yesterday that if we came down here and tested these lows, that we run the risk of that 200 day moving average just really starting to pull 
on uh, those prices to bring us down here into that area. So let's watch this carefully. It's hard to say what's going to happen today with such a big amount of data coming out this morning and the fluctuations that we're getting in the market right now are just extreme so um, watch that carefully so once again if we can get the bulls to defend this area right in here we could maybe catch that little relief rally but let's keep in mind the resistance levels in this chart that could be pretty substantial and difficult for the market to move back through unless something really changes as far as trade war or some of those uncertainties start to come out of the market pretty wild and crazy things going on right now so let's watch that carefully don't be at all surprised if there's some kind of news report or something today that really brings out those bears again and we have that chance of that 200 day moving average pulling hard um, on the market so watch that closely let's take a look at the cues now the cues are a much better situation having really held on or closely held on to this little price area right in here that little price support and that extends back over into heroes kind of holding on in there didn't really dip all the way down here to test these lows now that can be a good thing if we can find those bulls to support this and start moving it back up it can also be a bad thing because we're quite kind of out here floating around we haven't tested that low down here yet and that could signal um, you know if bears do come on that more pressure pushing us back down for that test but if those bulls do come in and support in here let's notice that we could actually establish a little tiny uptrend here um, with that higher low in the market so let's watch those uh, these price levels pretty closely as we continue to fluctuate fluctuate around wildly just a few moments ago Dow futures were only up 25 points now they're up 70 now they're at 50 um, that's how fast we're fluctuating around this morning. It's pretty crazy. Anything I think is possible today. Anything. Watch this level up here. Um, right around that 50 day moving average, we have that zone of resistance up here with those moving averages crossing down. Certainly a bearish um, attitude here on those shorter term averages, creating um, a little of that resistance area above. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, really, really in a tough situation here. IWM needs to hold this critical support area um, in here. If it does not hold that area, there is um, the potential of this big, big open hole in here that we could drift into. Hopefully that doesn't occur, but that possibility is there and we want to recognize that possibility so far this morning because of that futures bounce that we suddenly got um, we're seeing right in here uh, that potential lift right here uh, to hold that level that'll be important so keep an eye on this price resistance level now I, I gotta tell you IWM is just plain sick it's gonna need an awful lot of comeback before this really starts to improve you can see we're gonna have to rally up above this area to, to break into uh, that resistance area and um, we still have the 250 day moving averages above lots of price congestion for it to have to work through pretty rough uh, going here for IWM um, so watch that carefully it, it could a lot of lot of things could happen here we'll have to watch carefully let's take a look at the VIX now the VIX we are flipping around like crazy here on the VIX back and forth back and forth back and forth this is a um, let me change to this chart this is a little pattern here that um, I've actually used for a long time now I, I don't know if this pattern will work out well in the VIX I, I can't say that I followed it a lot on the VIX but I do see this pattern a lot and it's a pattern that I call the fig Newton um, the fig Newton is that light cookie on on the side of the dark inside filling so we have that fig Newton type pattern and it typically resolves itself when you have the fig Newton to the upside 
Um, if you notice right here, we had a bit of a Fig Newton pattern right here. We have the white cookie, the dark center, the white cookie, and it resolves itself to the upside. Um, just, um, just the opposite. And by the way, you won't find this in any any book. This is kind of my own creation, something I've noticed in charts. Um, how about this pattern right here where we get um, the uh, black cookie, the white filling, and the black cookie. Um, I call that the Oreo cookie pattern. And the Oreo cookie typically moves itself to the downside. So we have this potential here of this Fig Newton pattern. And, and that fear has certainly been pretty sizable here in the market. Just wild swings. And that's why I don't want really to wanna say that I can count on this. Uh, pattern to move us uh, directly higher here because of the wild swings that we've been getting in the market. But I just wanted to point out that pattern and you might find that helpful in other charts. Here we have that downtrend that I've been talking about and um, watching here closely. And as we hold these levels of price support in here, uh, we certainly have that possibility of fear spiking up. Now, it's one of those things where you think, man, how much more volatility can we get? Um, I, I want folks to remember that there are times when uh, there was a, a period in 2008 not that we're in the same market situation as we were in 2008, where we had nearly a month that the Dow traveled more than 500 points every single day. So this volatility, as, as extreme as it is, um, can continue for a while. And that, of course, uh, makes people, markets fearful. Any news reports or things that could shock the market and really push us um, strongly to that upside. But as long as we stay in this range in here, between here and here, um, we're probably just going to see that fluctuation back and forth. A lot of, a lot of price volatility. Let's take a look at, um, the T2122. Now this one, T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And that 800 point sell off yesterday really puts us down here in that oversold condition, that short term oversold condition and that bullish reversal zone. So I would expect that anytime soon, and it's uh, maybe we're, maybe it's happening right now in the futures, we get uh, that little bit of relief rally that begins to happen. That doesn't necessarily mean we rip our rip this all the way higher because remember this trade situation, the economic situation, all of these things, nothing has changed yet. And so pretty crazy in um, uh, if we just rip all the way back higher, ignoring all of these things all of a sudden, but it's possible. So right now we're in that bullish reversal zone. We could expect a relief rally to occur. Um, notice that we've got a little bit of a downtrend going on here in this indicator. So any move back up into here, we'll want to watch closely for that potential, particularly uh, a potential of, of that failure, potentially if it's a really wild whip move up where we get that ripping move to the upside and then that can quickly be reversed. So hopefully we get some, maybe just a, a slow, gradual, sustained rally, which um, really provides more support to the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. And our economic calendar is just slammed full of reports today. So much for the market to chew on here this morning. First, we have jobless claims at 8.30, the Philly Fed at 8.30, retail sales numbers at 8.30. We have Empire State Manufacturing Productivity and Costs, Industrial Production, Business Inventories, Housing Market Index, and the natural gas report. That is all before 1030 this morning. And you notice anything that's marked here in red are particularly market moving, potential market moving um, reports. So with so much chalked into this morning, expect this wild volatility to continue throughout the day. Also notice at the end of the day, we have treasury, um, um, international capital and the Fed balance sheet. Those I wouldn't expect to move the market around and I certainly wouldn't expect the natural gas report to do have much market uh, movement um, occurring. But boy, these reports up until 10 o'clock um, could really move us around significantly in the market. We also have quite a few earnings reports this morning um, or earnings reports. I, even though we have a kind of a low number of, of companies reporting, we have some big companies 
companies reporting, uh, like Walmart. Walmart reporting this morning and reported very, very well, reported strong, gapping sharply up. That is certainly um, helping the market lift off of those overnight lows that we saw, um, or those early morning lows that we saw in the market because it was um, so extremely, extremely uh, bearish first thing this morning. Um, if we take a look, there's uh, quite a few other earnings reports like AMAT that be, will be reporting, um, JCP, um, a few retailers like JCP, Dillard's, um, that kind of thing. Uh, BABA is reporting today, and it looks like it is reported strong, gapping up this morning, so BABA's looking good. And we have NVIDIA later on today that we'll be reporting. So some of those big reports that can move us around significantly. So you'll want to kind of keep a, an eye on that. Big day today, lots for the market to digest. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. I also want to um, just echo one more time to be very, very careful today. Expect really wild whipping price action to continue. Right now, Dow futures, we just flashed 100 points up and then we flashed down to about 80 points up. So we're getting these big whipping moves in the futures right now. And um, we could see lots and lots of uh, damage from those whipping moves if we race and chase into trades. So with that, um, just be a little bit careful, a little bit cautious. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button there on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so that you make sure and you're notified every time I post one of these videos. I post a morning market prep video every single day that the market is open and I and it's obviously it's free to everyone and I also post a lot of training uh, market education uh, to uh, the YouTube channel as well. There's over 600 videos now on the YouTube channel. Um, thank you to everyone who takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are awesome. You're responsible for the growth of this channel. Couldn't do it without you. And I truly am humbled uh, by the kind comments that you guys leave. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Also, please feel free to share any of these videos with friends or family. Post them on Facebook or Twitter or wherever you might um, post uh, video links like that. So with that, really quickly, a few charts um, out there that um, are still looking pretty good, even though we had uh, that rough sell-off yesterday. Take a look at Starbucks. If you're looking for a long trade, Starbucks has held up remarkably well overall and is, is showing some strength here in, um, in this move. Just hang it in there pretty strongly. Another place, um, CMG has held its trend very, very well, even though it pulled back sharply yesterday because of that move in the market, still holding up quite well overall. There's quite a few short trades out there to look at, but a lot of them right at this point would be a little bit of a chase. Take a look at Lulu. Lulu really selling off yesterday, reversing that big move, that big ugly volatility move that we had um, just one day ago and completely reversing that back to the downside. Take a look at a stock like Dollar General, Dollar General, General putting in that possible failure pattern here at the 50 day moving average, looking relatively weak, something we wanna pay attention to for a potential sell off uh, to the downside. So there's quite a few stocks like that. Um, a good stock to maybe be paying attention to is Cintas. Cintas, even though it did get some selling yesterday, this has held up extremely well in this overall trend. If the market could get a little bit of bullishness going on here, Cintas may come right back and show some pretty good signs. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits. Um, and once again, I want to remind you to make sure and click that thumbs up button and leave a comment if you feel this video is worthy. 
Be really careful this morning. Those futures are flip-flopping all over the place. And we are now up 130 points um, in the Dow futures. They have gone from uh, more than 180 points down this morning to now 130 points up um, on all of this news that it's trying to digest. So just keep that in mind. It could be a wild morning. Protect your capital. Be safe. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day, everyone.